Speaking of music, you mentioned the concerts at the weekend. You actually recently introduced um, a very highly anticipated private members bill to try to reform the way that musicians are paid uh, in terms mm. of streaming on apps like Spotify and Apple Music. You had big name artists backing you, but the bill didn't pass. Why not? Well, unfortunately, the government weren't ready at this stage to give it their support. And they do you know, have the uh, control of the House of Commons because of their majority at the last general election. But in fairness, they didn't kill the bill entirely either. Um, it's, it's now sort of parked in a multi-storey car park, which it probably won't be able to get out of. But they have committed to a number of measures that are leaning into what I'm trying to achieve in the bill. There's a whole programme of work they're doing. They've agreed to report back on that by next September. And they have said, they acknowledge there's a problem about artist remuneration in music, particularly with these new streaming services like Spotify, and, uh, you know, that, that, that something has to be done to resolve this problem by the industry. And if they don't, the government will be prepared themselves to legislate. And I think that's a major step forward in my campaign. Oh, that sounds like there's some progress on that. Just to explain how, how bad things are as far as you see them. How much do musicians get paid when, when one of their tracks gets played on a service like Spotify or, or Apple Music? It, it's a tiny pittance if they get paid anything at all because of some historic contracts. You might have made a record, you know, 25 years ago, uh, which was in the era when they had to ship records around to shops and so on and CDs, etc. cetera. Um, but the same uh, contract applies in the era of streaming where there are no costs to the record labels. And yet, you know, the same contract is being used to apply in order to calculate payment. And some of those artists were deemed never to have earned enough to get paid anything at all. And it's an absolute outrage that that's happening. And what my bill would have done would have been guaranteed to artists under copyright law a similar right that they have when their music is played on the radio for an unwaverable payment each time their music's played. And I think most people instinctively feel that if you're playing someone's music, then that person ought to get something from that play. Uh, and that's why I think ultimately this reform will be embraced in some shape or form.